welcome to Let's Read Mobile presented by Boys and Girls Club of South Alabama. I'm Jocelyn Vieira Sanchez and from the University of South Alabama's Mortar Board chapter. And I'd like to read you guys a new book tonight. This is Hiking Day. Today my mother, my father and I are going to climb Hickory Hill. That's the mountain I see from my window. It looks like a mountain to me, but everyone calls it Hickory Hill. I put on sturdy sneakers, find my floppy hat, and fill my water bottle. The ride from our house to Hickory Hill takes about 20 minutes. As we drive, I see fewer and fewer houses and more and more tall trees. As soon as we park the car, we check the map to see which trail to follow. Trails are like paths cut through the woods. We choose the red one. It's my favorite color. The minute we step onto the trail, we are surrounded by tall trees. We can't see the sky. The ground is covered with leaves and ferns. It looks like the inside of my mother's terrarium. It is so quiet. I can hear my sneakers crunching the ground. As we climb higher up Hickory Hill, a fat toad leaps in front of us. Ribbit, ribbit, he says. I kneel down to look at him. His colors match the floor of the woods and the tree bark. Hey, says my father, where is the red trail marker? Uh-oh, mom says, where can it be? Are we lost? I wonder. We look at all the tree trunks around us. Then we notice a prickly porcupine slowly climbing a tree. As she moves up the trunk, I see a red mark appear. I found it, I cry. We begin hiking again. I hear a loud tap, 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 tap. It sounds like someone is using a hammer. A little chipmunk puts a hickory nut in her mouth and, and scurries through the leaves. Getting ready for winter, my father says. The tap, tap, tap gets louder. My mother points up and I see a woodpecker making a hole in a tree. He is looking for insects hiding inside, she tells me. He uses his beak to make the hole bigger and find good things to eat. Bugs? Yuck, says dad and I. We see some yellow mushrooms and red berries growing on a bush, but that beautiful, friendly toad is gone. Maybe he decided to hike down Hickory Hill instead of hiking up with us. Soon, we stop for a drink. All of a sudden, I know someone is looking at me. I slowly turn to see a deer with white antlers. He leaps away so fast that no one sees him but me. The more we walk, the more I notice the trees are not so tall. The ground is rockier. Now I can see bits of blue sky and even an airplane flying across the sky. Suddenly, the ground below my feet is in the woodland floor. It is a big, flat rock. We're at the summit, my father tells me, the top of Hickory Hill. We did it, I say. We all sit down on the sunny, warm rock, and guess who jumps up to be with us? The friendly, fat toad. Thank you for joining us tonight. Don't forget to watch us next time. Until then, let's read Mobile.